Wow, and that is how we begin this edition of Hoops, highlighted by Digger Phelps. Hi, everyone. I'm Ray Crawford. Like an old Western, this showdown in Texas even came complete with its own saloon-style brawl that resulted in the ejection of seven players in overtime. Digger, they had to have that win last night, did the Longhorns. It's been a struggle, as you know, in Austin this year. Do you think, though, they pose any danger in the postseason? Yeah, if they can get an NCAA bid, I really do. I love their basketball team. They're one of the best rebounding teams in the country, although last night, Baylor ends up out rebounding them 46 30 on the boards. But you can see where Isaiah Taylor can take a game over at the end and make a key shot. Look at how good they are inside and outside. One of their biggest weaknesses when they shoot too many threes, they get in trouble and they can't get offensive rebounds. I just feel that Isaiah Taylor and this team have the potential. If they beat K State at home, that gives them two straight wins. They go in that conference, win a couple in that tournament, they can steal an NCAA bid. I wouldn't want to play them come March Madness. All right, elsewhere, Oklahoma had a 20-point lead on Iowa State last night, only to watch the Cyclones come back and win it by seven. Looking ahead to the tournament, who goes further? Who's most dangerous, Oklahoma or Iowa State? I like Oklahoma's st uh, starting five. I really do. I think Buddy Held and company and Cousins, they know how to play the game. What they didn't do last night was play the defense to allow Iowa State to go on that 22 to zip run. But Iowa State, to me, depends on one guy. If Niang plays with consistency, like he did last night, to stay consistent getting points and rebounds, then they're there. When he disappears, they disappear. And I think that's going to be what's going to be their trademark come NCAA tournament time to make sure that they have their balance inside and outside. But Niang, to me, is a key factor for them to go far in the tournament. So, Digger, with Oklahoma's loss, it meant Kansas won at least to share the Big 12 title for an 11th straight year. Where does that accomplishment rank in your mind? Well, that, that's unbelievable how they dominate, uh, you know, from the Big the Big 12 and what they've done with these other teams of an attitude in this conference over the years. But more importantly to Kansas, when they do lose, they beat themselves. Even with that win the other night, understand something. Mason and Selden were 6 for 20. They've got to play better on that perimeter. They have not been shooting the ball well on the perimeter because Perry Ellis with that front line, they're doing a the job getting points, getting rebounds. But if they get inconsistent with that perimeter game, remember last year they didn't get to the Sweet 16? Well, I can see that happening this year if they don't have that consistency with not enough turnovers, keep them down under 10, make your free throws, but get Mason and Selden involved, they can go far. If not, no Sweet 16 this year. Hmm. They finish up the regular season with West Virginia and Oklahoma. Digger, thanks as always. We appreciate it. My pleasure. The Kentucky Wildcats have provided us with plenty of highlights during their record run this season. We've taken some of the best to create the Kentucky Hype video up now, only on Campus Insiders.